clients love to choose you know one out of three projects um, we don't like to work that way we like to think that the process needs to be more interactive with the client we need to share knowledge and, and ideas and get to a mutually agreed you know kind of perspective on a project not a mutually agreed three perspectives on a project and then I started my own firm and I had five miserable years in a garage from 91 to 96 and I was just about to give up. I'd done a couple of little projects and I had worked with, uh, done a little more work with TBWA Shy Day, the ad agency, who I'd met th through Frank Geary because Frank Geary did their binocular building in Venice in uh, 1990. I was about to throw in the towel, was about to send up for my resume, um, and then I heard that Shy Day were wanting to redo their building, um, move out of their building, take a huge warehouse space in West LA and put everyone into like into one huge community. And that sort of became a massive opportunity for us to take urban design thinking into the interior on a very large scale and create a kind of a village in this building or as the client liked to call it an advertising city. This, uh, this idea of of how neighborhoods can be set up inside of a large space. You get an identity to the neighborhood using iconographic architecture inside of a building, which is really unique. You can actually tour through the building, even though it's 120,000 square feet, you still get a sense of where you are at any moment in time. Each area is, is a neighborhood and it has distinct character. It's not just more of the same of the same. And that was a really kind of brilliant idea. We have 927 year olds and their dogs here. We work 24 seven, 365. If you wanna work New Year's Eve, the lights are on, the air conditioning is on. The space really has to hold up. It was built for 450 people in 1998. It's now kind of 12 years, 12, 13 years later, with very little change. This is the sort of first sketch of the idea sort of taking this big warehouse, which is a big block, and then how could they humanize the block? And, and then this gets really quite close to what we actually built, um, where there are these long bridges that go into the building. Um, and they originally planned to be glass bridges. And it, it, this is a little bit like that kind of airport experience of um, you know, when you're kind of going onto the plane, except it's kind of in reverse. This wouldn't be the plane. This is actually where you kind of, uh, you actually begin. But one of the, uh, the notions of entering the space was that you were kind of going to another country. The cliff dwellings over here in Shai Te, and these are where all the creators work and in pairs and they face each other and these are staggered kind of uh, uh, elements that were originally intended to be made out of shipping containers stacked on top of each other. We built them a little differently but the, this form very much came from shipping containers. Concrete floors, tough carpets, basketball court, things that can hold up to pizza and a fair amount of alcohol and dogs uh, really have worked in our favor and Clive was smart in bringing that into the environment. That project turned into what changed our, our lives. Um, it was fantastically uh, uh, kind of fun creatively and it you know, continues to be successful. <laughs>